Kristen Tatar is unfazed by uh, adversity, week in and week out. She's really shown that she's a resilient player and ready to compete. Macy definitely has the distance. She's been a contender for a little while now, and I think she's due for the win. She's going to get an Elite Series win. It's just a question of which one. I think Macy's got the edge being the hometown girl. That's gotta be less stress, less pressure. I think she's gonna take home. Jennifer Allen, she is cool, calm, confident on the course and, and powerful. She, she's really strong, a, mostly a mainly backhand player. She has an absolute cannon, so we'll see Jen throwing a lot more flex shots and touchy backhand shots. Holland Hanley is newer. I think that is an advantage. There's um, less expectations on her. She can go out and, and throw the shots that she knows that she has in her bag, and she can take this home. Any, any of them can win. The race is tight, the course is difficult. They all have unbelievable strengths, and I'm excited to see it. Hello and welcome to the final round of the Music City Open presented by Lone Star Disc. We are out here for our third day in a row at Mill Ridge Disc Golf Course. It's sunny. We're feeling great. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. And we are two hot geese, y'all. Honky uh, tonk tonk tonk. Geese tonk tonk. <laughs> uh, merch still for sale only till tomorrow. Yep. Um, Pre-orders. Get it before it's done. Because mm -hmm, it will be gone. There will be more to come though too. Don't worry. Um, thanks to everyone that already put in a pre-order. Everyone that came up on the course and was excited about yeah. it. We appreciate it yeah. so much. We're just stoked to be here. We we love all you. We love Jomez. We love love. And we love the sunshine today. Yeah. <laughs> so much nicer. <laughs> yes, it was great. Still uh, Mill Ridge, still a par 66, over 8,000 feet. Um, 500 feet longer and you could uh, finally take advantage of ripping distance drives because there was not a lot of wind today. Yeah. Uh, birdie rate went up uh, substantially, probably on every hole, including hole 17. 15, 17. 15, 17. Yeah, it's the biggest separator. Also, thanks to UDisc, we're still going to be using your stats every day. Check out the International Course Cleanup Day on Earth Day, April 22nd. Holland Hanley, let's look at her season. 11% parked third in the field and first in birdie percentage. God. <laughs> Can you imagine having those stats? No, that's why uh, we're here yes. <laughs> behind the microphone. <laughs> Jennifer Allen, fifth in birdie percentage. Haven't seen her a lot um, this year, recent years. She does work a full-time job in addition to being an absolute bomber. Mm -hmm. Macy Vela Diaz, she won her first silver series starting this season out, but la at the end of last year, first in scramble percentage, and that is that Tennessee shining through. She's excellent at getting out of the rough and onto the green. And is there anything to say about Kristen Tatar? <laughs> anything left to say? She's got it all. Second in birdie percentage, first in parked. Um, she's got a lot of in ones. circle one. Yeah, she's good, <laughs> turns out. Uh, hole one's a par four, 646 feet. You're shooting through the gap here. You can see this OB line on the left. A little tight to start, widens out, and then kind of wraps up and around behind the basket. First shot, you want to land somewhere around here. And then this is where the power sidearm really helps. We saw Macy park it day one. It's very hard to do. It's even harder to get a backhand all the way there on a turnover line. Um, and the green can cause some challenges. It was sunny, the wind was down, but the ground was horrible. It so, was so muddy. So Footing boggy. is gonna be an issue. Yep, especially around hole one's tee pad. There was a lot of action there and you can tell there is a lot of mud. A lot of mistrust of the footing. So Holland not getting off the tee there uh, is going to basically force her to settle for par at best on this whole one. You got to get a big drive in order to access the green on your second shot. Uh, Jen with a similar mistake here. Jennifer Allen shot three down yesterday, tying the hot round to shoot up into a tie for second. Everyone else on our lead card shot a little bit over par yesterday, struggled just a bit. But didn't we all? <laughs> <laughs> not Jen. <laughs> not Jen. Macy barely tickling those trees on the left. It's just a little more distance I'm than everyone else. I'm surprised they are all kind of aiming at that tree on the left on a turnover. Like usually that corner's not as much in play. Yep. It's interesting. I think it is better to be a little bit more left. This is more normal. Yep. 
for sure. It does make the second shot blind, but the distance is what matters more than anything. Kristen Tatar getting the best distance there with her orbit grace. Holland, no way she can birdie from here. Calling it now. And if she does, I'm leaving. <laughs> it's going to be a long round with just me, folks. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No one wants to hear that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, barely missing that corner. Gives herself a long putt, but probably from outside circle too. Oh, definitely. It's got to be 70 plus feet. Jen trying the turnover. And... Pretty line. Wow. Is, that, is she doing it? Oh, oh. Gosh, she did. Are you kidding? She would. Okay, I'm not leaving if she birdies it I know. Though. I'm glad you didn't say that for both of them. Yeah. <laughs> She really wasn't that much farther than Holland God, looked that, like. That was really an unbelievable shot. It was probably 350 or 360 on Annie the full way. Yeah. Macy with the huge sidearm getting right around circle two land. Kristen with a really good look at it with the forehand. Needs a swoo. Uh-oh. That's early and jail. Oh, it's rough in there too. It's so bad. Borderline blind to the basket from there. Yeah, just a wall of trees. All right, Holland. Just pitch up and take the ball. <laughs> she she ran it. She did. <laughs> you think wow. that was a run? I think so. Soft bid. Soft bid. All right, so Macy from circle two. Oh, oh, two days in a row? Hands it. Yes. You know what's extra impressive is she didn't slip and fall flat on her back, <laughs> which is what happened to me on this hole from that spot. <laughs> it's so muddy. Yeah. You can't tell. It was like a cartoon. Oh, my gosh. That's Slow unbelievable. Mez, hole one for Macy. Macy's only one out of only five people to get it today, and I'm sure it was less yesterday. What a way to start. And, I mean, only a stroke separates these ladies. It's anybody's game out here. Nice yes, birdie Jen. from Jen, too. God. That's such a tough backhand. That was amazing. With that kind was. of a short drive. The fact that that already happened and it's only hole one, like, oh, she We're must have done. We're in for it, folks. She, she must have done some really good warm-ups. Everyone buckle up, you know? Like, here we go. Colin with a good little par putt from a knee. So we watched Jennifer and Macy take birdies. They were two of only five. Wow. Wow. Evelina Solonen, Ali Smith, and Haley King getting the other three. Fantastic. I think we're going to see this leaderboard switch quite a bit throughout the day. Look at that. Tied up at the top. Kristen drops down into fourth place. Just one stroke above Hina. We don't usually see it this close. No, it's the, last this round. course plays really well for FPO, even though it is very demanding. Hole two being a prime example of that. Your drive, you want to push the OB on the right side, ideally landing on that side of the fairway to set up a more straight shot down this tunnel. There is out of bounds all the way up the right and left side of that tunnel, pushed into the tree line on the right side and a little bit further back on the left, but it does wrap around behind the basket. It is a really tough second shot, but also extremely fun. It was a very slight left to right wind. Jen going huge here, but pushing that OB. And it's tough to reach the pin from that corner. Yeah, she's going to be really pinched. It's an absolute wall. You have to go out and around, and it's going to cause her not to be able to approach the green. The forehand is such a cool play here. It, I think it sets up a little bit better for the backhand um, in reaching that right side landing zone. That's a great shot from Macy. It's ridiculous to me that Macy's worried about throwing her forehand out of bounds that far down the fairway. Yeah, no That's kidding. how far she throws. Uh huh. That's crazy. Holland going backhand here. Um, just kind of aiming at the trees and trying to get it to drift. But like I said, it is kind of a left to right. It did kind of push the disc straighter than you would want. Yeah. You you kind of have to clock your aiming point a little bit further down the fairway when you throw as far as Holland does. Yeah. Yeah, that's the normal person <laughs> aiming spot. spot yeah. yeah. Kristen following Macy's lead going forehand also they're, in a great position. Yep, they're both set up for birdie. Holland probably around three, 250, 275. To 275, the, I think. Yep. Wow. Wow. That's so good. That's really good. That's a tight little tunnel. It's not easy. And if she catches one tree, she could find out of bounds so easily on either side of the fairway. Yeah, or just that right side is kind of jailish as well. Kristen, early again on the sidearm. 
Well, that on hole one as well. Doesn't get a bad kick. She's in the middle of the fairway. Should be able to pitch up easily. Forehand from Jen. That's Macy. That makes more sense. <laughs> I, are they both wearing blue? Yes. It's been a long weekend, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the conditions Macy have got us down. <laughs> throwing out of bounds um, with a kind of a sawed off sidearm. And it's going to be a tough scramble from in there. It is brutal Here's in there. Jennifer Allen not at all wearing the same shirt as Macy. And wow, that, that was that pretty, was pretty good effort from there. Yep, that's a tough, really tight corner. Kristen parking it for the stress-free par. Hole one was the third most difficult hole, and hole two is the second most difficult. So just starting off with a double whammy of hard. Oh, wow. Hey, uh, let's go back in time for a moment. I forgot we didn't capture Kristen's upshot on one. She, like, took to the skies, um, threw over that corner, and saved a par. She's amazing. Yeah. Sorry we didn't talk about it at the appropriate time. <laughs> there it is. It's, it's out there. It's out there. That, now you know. Ooh. <gasps> oh. Good run from Holland. There was only... Let's see. Jen. Four people Sorry. got to circle one in regulation on hole two. Um... So birdies were hard to come by here. Yeah, they stretched this one out a little bit um, from last year. And I kind of want them to split the difference. Like bring it just one circle closer, you know? Yep. Like make it a little bit more attackable. Holland saving bogey it's with just the such, out of bounds stroke. It's such a cool shaped hole. Yeah, it's I like it. Me too. I mean, I think it's fair. I just like birdies. <laughs> Macy, even with the excellent drive, is going to have to settle for a double bogey. And that's how this hole goes. It's so easy to rack up strokes on the second fairway. Jen also getting that double bogey. Evelina Solonen, the only person to birdie it today. Nice. God, I love that woman. Yeah, me too. And another leader Ooh, change. Whoa. All right. Holland and Kristen now leading the way. Yep, got a handful of people under par here. Evelina, Ali Smith, Sarah Gilpin. Um, hole three is a new hole, touchy turnover. We actually saw, um, I think, three sidearms, just kind of a position play yesterday. Forehand roller, if you're feeling gutsy, it's tough to get it all the way there. They left a tree right in the line. Um, if you, there's out of bounds on both sides, I believe. The left side is probably the worst side to because you can't they really scramble. You're right. You're right. <laughs> there's not a lot of I'm gaps. I'm more familiar with the left side, and it's bad. Yeah, there's not a lot of gaps on either side. Once you go, you can see Chris and bummed. Once you get over there, whether you're out of bounds or not, it is so hard to recover because mm -hmm. there is not a single gap. And you think, oh, maybe there's the option of going out and around. It's too risky. No, it's way too risky. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Holland kind of covering her head. <laughs> so this plate is the most difficult hole. We literally went it's three, so two, short. one. Wow. On holes one, two, and three. That's crazy. Jen going standstill. I like this play. A little more position play. I don't think she's getting hyper aggressive. And she should be able to scramble from there. Middle of the fairway. Scramble. <laughs> yeah, seriously. That's how... Oh, oh, oh no. Macy. <laughs> Good reaction, Cam. Yeah, yeah. So after playing this or watching three cards of women play this hole and then also more on commentary, I think I finally settled on a play. Like, okay. I think I needed 16 practice rounds to figure out what to do. <laughs> and what is it? I think it's jump putt off the tee and wow. into the middle. That's so lame. It's so lame. But like, I think that's that's one thing about this course is it's never the play that you think. Yeah. Does that make sense? It does. My play was to throw right through that V uh, on yesterday. <laughs> I made it through all the way there. That's sweet. Man, Macy's struggling, Holland's, everyone just struggling. Yeah, I think it baits you into trying to go for the birdie when in reality what Jen did, I think is yeah. where Jen ended up is the smartest play. Yeah, and, and she just went really chill little putter shot yep. and puts it to the bullseye. The par. And I think, yeah, it just it's really hard to do that when you are playing a 270-foot hole. Yeah. With, Ooh, Kristen going out and around. Oh, it worked. Okay. She yeah. must have had a little gap over there. Small one, but she was barely above that little um, advertisement wall. So three people made it to circle one in regulation off the tee. You guys are freaks. <laughs> <laughs> they went through the V. Congratulations. <laughs> Only one birdie on the day, though. Lori Merriman. 
Yeah. Yeah, she piped it. She was on my card. It was awesome. That's sweet. Macy trying to save Bogey comes up short. That's a rough start after that big birdie on hole one. 50% of the field taking a par and 46 taking a bogey or worse. So this is not one where you're losing strokes. Jen is certainly gaining them by getting a par. Mm -hmm. What a scramble from Kristen. I bet a lot of people tried that or thought about it and she just made it look easy going out and around. Yeah, those branches over there are low. Colin going bogey, bogey the last two holes, looking to get some green on the scorecard. Oh, man. Yeah. Two doubles in a row for Macy. At least Ouch. it's the two hardest holes on the course. Yeah. You yeah. Know? She like can if you're going to double. Soothe herself later with those stats. <laughs> Kristen taking the solo lead with that one. Disc golf keeps growing. At the Power Disc Golf Academy, we believe in adding power to the player to level up their game. That's why Paul Ulibarri, a top 50 ranked player, is taking the past 18 years of teaching disc golf and boiling it down into lessons across every subject. From driving, to putting, to drills, to practice, to mental game, and much more, all to give you the power to grow as a player. Grow your game with the Power Disc Golf Academy. Hole four, 814 feet, a uh, low ceiling tee shot that you want to get to push as straight as you can. You don't necessarily want to be tucked super right because it can pinch off the gaps. Being out wide to the left is okay. Your second shot, you're just going to blast a hyzer out into this open field. Then you're left with anywhere from 150 to a 300 foot shot to the elevated pin, gently slopes away behind the basket. So don't come in too hot. I think this is a gettable birdie by almost everyone in the field. Definitely. Uh, it just takes like it. really it's, good placement shots. Yeah, it's more place, more about the placement than the distance, though, of course, distance helps. You can see Kristen. I'm sure that was a little more high off than she wants, but it won't hurt her. It'll be okay. Yeah. She can still birdie. She got plenty of distance up there and should be lined up pretty well with one of the gaps. So we followed up the three doozy first holes with one of the easiest holes on the course. Nice. Jen flipping this destroy over just a bit, getting some nice distance, and she's going to be in a very similar spot to Kristen. So these ladies aren't finding it, but I think the true challenge on this hole today was the landing zone is the muddiest, yeah. one of the muddiest places on the course. Right, because everyone's trying to land there. Yep. So Whoa, that's a huge shot. That is huge. monstrous. So Holland so doesn't good. have to worry about it at all. <laughs> she's way past it. Yeah, that was an ESP force. Wow. That was a crush. It was a crush and the perfect spot to land. She's right next to the gap. I mean, she's in an area where you could potentially eagle it. Think, yeah, she can definitely think about it. Most women going to go right gap here. Kristen, I don't know. If, uh, I guess that was probably early. I think it was. It was not good. Mm -mm. And that, where she landed is going to be really tough to recover. She still can get a par. She, yeah, she can. It's going to take a really great probably sidearm uh, out from that area. Macy not messing around, throwing nice and wide. She's in a good position to attack for birdie. Jen putting it way out into the field as well. I kind of thought she was going to be a little more aggressive with it. Yeah, I mean, she had all the power she needed. It just really flipped. But, I mean, it should be a, not an easy approach shot, but distance-wise, she's probably within 250. Yep, Holland taking that hyzer route, letting that right-to-left win help oh her. Oh, my gosh. Yes, dude. I was wondering if we were going to see this. She gets to circle's edge. That's amazing. And that was a hyper-aggressive tee shot, too, like... Wow, that's so cool. Kristen just pitching out. I, I'd be willing to bet that Holland is maybe the only person to get to circle one in regulation, right? I Yeah, I would not take that bet. I, I feel like if there's anyone else, it might be maybe two or three people. Yeah. So Kristen probably about 300 feet uphill and gets nice. it inside the circle. Good recovery. Macy looking at about 220.
pretty. Bullseye. 30% of the field taken a birdie or better on this hole. Mm. Jen leaving it a little too left, drifting down the hill. It's going to be a long birdie putt coming back. It's not even a putt. It's a little sidearm. And a nice recovery yeah. for par. Her little sidearms are uh, looking, looking pretty good. good. Uh -huh. She's been working on them. Holland for eagle just inside the circle. <laughs> yes, girl, <laughs> yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, let's watch this one in slow-mo. Nice. Wow. You know on the to, elevated pin. Yeah. You know how to make yourself feel better about two bogeys? And just a quick eagle. Yep, just cancel them out. One hole. She was the only eagle of the day we got to on watch it. On the weekend. It. Yeah. On the weekend. Oh, yeah. That's probably true. Yep. You know us and our probably true statistics. <laughs> really good par save from Kristen. A nice, easy birdie from Macy. Wow. Wow. This is fun. <laughs> and another lead change. Man, this is going to be exciting. Yeah, I mean, it is. Look, it is right now. Enjoy the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Evelina climbing up into that fourth place spot. Nice. Just one stick over Macy. I think they were tied, but yeah. <laughs> Hole five is a par four, 587 feet. Really tricky. You need to throw a placement shot to one of these gaps. I like pushing all the way to the left corner and then it leaves like an Anheuser backhand or a forehand. Um, no one's doing that aggressive landing zone. We are all going to the safe landing zone. Um, and some people even land shorter than that. There's a smaller gap. It's hard to get there on the second shot. Very, very tough. Takes a big forehand or a very technical backhand. Something like what we saw from Jen on hole one on her approach. And the reason it's not worth going for is because if you land in the little line of trees with the two gaps, sometimes you can do nothing better but pitch out. Yeah. Like, you can't really recover. Yep. Holland's going to be a lot earlier than you'd like. Macy going big forehand and pretty Gosh. much gets to the gap. You want to be just a few more feet ahead to give yourself uh, some more options. But I'm surprised to see two of them go forehand. Yep. Well, if we're looking at anyone in the field that could potentially get this whole five, I think we're looking at three of the players that can. Yep. Macy, Holland, and Kristen definitely have the tools to do that. Yeah. But Jen, Jen has that backhand. Yeah. She can. It's just more difficult. Yep. It's way more risky as yeah. well. But she would do it. She's reckless. I love she that. She is reckless. <laughs> like, she might go for it from there, and she's probably not lined up great. She's looking at this small gap. Nice, safe route. She's just going to lay out into the middle. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Holland also short, looking at this really small gap here, going big forehand. Holland was the only player to get it in round one. And she finds the OB short of the basket. Kristen going to line up the bigger gap in a great spot. This looks good. Yeah, sure does. Yes. Ooh. Oh, yeah, nice. That OB comes in very tight. Like, what, 15 feet on the right? Mm -hmm. That was so good. You're worried about it if you're putting, that's yeah, for sure. Definitely. Macy's swinging it out even wider with her forehand. Leaving herself a long circle two look at Birdie. Jen with yet another forehand. It's like her third of the round already. Looks like she's kind of leaning on this. You usually see her throw a lot more um, touchy backhand shots. That's enough. That's enough. Pretty well done. <laughs> Holland just going to pitch up from that corner. Macy, I don't know. <laughs> Nice layup. I yeah, I guess it was a layup. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Oh, I'm giving it a good bit, a little bit of a jabby putt. 
Yeah, she does fall short of the OB. Jen saving a par with a nice little chip forehand and a great putt. She's shown some really good placement shots. Mm -hmm. She told me she didn't really get a lot of practice rounds, but it's sure looking like she has a game plan. Yep. Dang, Holland with a double there. Just a lot of colors on the scorecard. Unlike Kristen, who is just getting her first green right now. Super clean, one down on the round. Kristen, one of only three birdies on the day. Evelina Salonen and Owen Scoggins also getting it. Looks like Evelina was just lighting this place up. Yeah, it does look like that. And another leader change. My gosh, every, every hole. hole. Yeah. That's crazy. It is crazy. Macy still holding on to that fourth place st spot now. I'm still only, you know, three strokes separating first from fourth. It's nothing. Nope. Hole six. Kind of a weird tee shot uh, visually, but not that hard in general. You just got to kind of throw a hyzer out. The more left you can push that OB, the better this or easier this second shot is. There's OB on the right hand side in the trees, but the left side is fair game. You do not want to go in there, though, because it is brutally thick. Ideally, your second shot lands somewhere in here and you're just chipping a backhand turnover or a sidearm up to the green. Um, another super placement shot type of hole, but this drive is really important and dictates the rest of the hole. Kristen's drive is looking really good. That's about as perfect as it gets. That was a orbit rive. Macy with a royal rive. Looks like the orbit uh, flies better. <laughs> Macy's not <laughs> in as good of a spot. We definitely have enough data to it, make that claim. Yep. Probable statistics by the geese. Jen taking a more aggressive route. Yeah, that's going to push the OB for sure. Wow. But yeah, it checks up in a, really a fantastic spot, honestly. Yep, that's what you got to do on this hole. Nice stable destroyer there from Jen. Oh, interesting. This is a big Z vulture, which is kind of more like a flippy fairway driver, I believe, from Discraft. I like um, that play. Yeah, she almost did it. You do really have to push that OB line in the corner to line up the birdie play. Yeah, she looks like she's not quite like committing on the follow through, like maybe a little nervous or something. Yeah, I, she doesn't appear nervous, but yeah. definitely a lot more big numbers than we're used to seeing from her. Uh, Kristen throwing a great distance sidearm. Um, she'll definitely have a chance to attack for birdie. The shot is so scary because if you finish too far right, you're out of bounds. And if you push too straight, uh, you're in that corner and it's so tough to get out. You'll see a lot of pitch outs from that corner. Yeah. Macy doing a good job to find the fairway on her second shot. All in with a super smooth shot up the middle. Yeah, she's going pretty big here. Oh, and she almost makes the corner. She gets caught up just a little bit, but that is absolutely fine. She'll be able to probably see the green from there. Yeah, probably like a little step out sidearm from there, I'd imagine. Jen going huge and probably, yep, Ooh. she's going to find the woods. It's rough in there. It is. It's awful. Sorry if you're sick of us saying that, but it just, you don't want to be in there, folks. They cleared out so much of the course that they didn't waste their time on that spot. Yeah. Macy with kind of a fun high uh, forehand line up and over the trees and into circle two. Kristen is a little tight on this right side, but has a wide open look. Nice. Oh, so good. 20% of the field getting to circle one in regulation. This is another one of those holes that Millridge did really well with of uh, making it really hard, but also super scorable at yeah, the same time. It's interesting. They lengthened it. They brought in more danger, but there are more birdies. Yep. Like, I I like the changes. Too. Nice little floaty, pretty upshot from Jen to about 20-ish feet. Holland looking to save her par, stretching out for the forehand. Butter. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, it's good. Macy for birdie. Oof, little jumper off the rim, just barely short. <laughs> At least it wasn't a layup. I love the, oh, I almost had it, circle two smile. <laughs> I feel like Holland's so good at the OB stroke, like basically a birdie par save. Mm -hmm. 
Jen is also really good at those. Yeah. Kristen really looking in control here. The first two rounds are, um, was it just yesterday that we watched her? She, mm -hmm. we saw a few more mistakes than we're used to seeing um, from her in last tournament as well. But this is kind of the normal Kristen, Kristen Tatar, just flawless. <laughs> flawless, look at her. <laughs> Relatable faces on the disc golf yeah. course. And Kristen's uh, starting to separate herself a bit. Hole seven is a pretty fun downhill hole, 436 feet over some tall grass that's all very casual. Uh, OB comes in pretty fast on the right side if you throw too straight. You're looking to throw something um, kind of straight on the right side that swings into the left at the end. Short left is fine, but there's definitely some danger and some trees over there. It's very reachable, especially for these ladies. A little bit of a right to left head crosswind. And that looks good. Just needs to swing. There it goes. Yeah. Swings right into the bullseye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay, flawless. Here's that orbit rive again. Macy with her royal rive. Let's see if it's the inferior rive. <laughs> that looks great too. It looks like a mimic. A little shorter. But a good shot. Yep. Friendly little roll too. Super downhill putt, which is my favorite. Jen with a destroyer. Wow, flipping it quite a bit. Yeah, that wind can definitely do that on this one. But it checks up before the OB. Yeah, circle two. God, everyone on this card is going to clear that casual grass. Well, yeah. Very casual. So casual. As Erica said. Yeah. Jeans in the office casual. Oh, thank you. I was like looking for <laughs> that exactly. You complete me. <laughs> uh, All in going to be on the rock. It's uh, right on Circle's edge. Kind of a fun little putt putting area. Jen from Circle 2. Gives it a good bid. She's looking super positive on the putting green. We saw her a little bit more jabby in Las Vegas. Love to see her running them hard. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like a lot of times when you see Jen struggling, it's on the putting green, but she's looking pretty confident. Yes, hey. Macy, yes. Speaking of confident, this is such a downhill death putt. <laughs> Look at her, like, get pumped, too. <laughs> Look at this little jump she does. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you love to see it. Oh, the Macy Velody has flex. And what a great downhill death putt to set the pace for the rest of the round. Yeah. I mean, she's only one over, and that's with two double bogeys. The classic birdie, double, double birdie start. Classic. <laughs> classic. Holland going to be uh, high in the chains left, unable to get the birdie. I'm Jen, really see. only the one blemish. Otherwise, very clean par golf. Yeah. Kristen just... Taking charge. Yeah, just bag putting, tap ins. Getting the turkey three in a row. And... Our lead card ladies need to put their foot on the gas pedal. I know. We stopped having lead changes. What's going on here? I don't know. <laughs> Kristen, Kristen's doing her thing. No one's surprised. We enter my favorite part of the course, uh, starting with hole seven. I think just things get really cool. It stops being wide open and turns into more of a wooded section. Uh, this is a nice little soft turnover shot that finishes at the end or a dead straight shot, whatever you're feeling. Um, the woods on the left are rough. The woods on the right are even rougher. You just got to keep it in the middle, miss that one guardian tree, and slide up this rocky green we did through see the a, basket. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we did see a lot of forehands on this one yesterday oh, as forget, well. Forget about distance yeah. forehands. Right, right. Me too. <laughs> Solid shot from Kristen getting to probably just inside circle two. So at 315, this looks like, oh, a pretty gimme birdie, like on screen and on paper. 
but in reality, it was the fifth most difficult hole, and that comes entirely due to lack of birdies. Yep. There's something about this that is really tough to access the green. Maybe it's, it's slightly uphill. It's really tight. There's something about this that makes it tough to get to, and I can't put my finger on it. I mean, it's the things you said, but yeah, it's it a really good shot tends to land in circle two. You don't. I don't think I've seen anyone land in circle one. It's just so confusing because at 315, you're, normally I'd be like, oh, I'm going to pull out a mid and just... Look how uphill it is. Yeah. Are you crazy? Yeah. What do you mean? It's I am crazy. It's so hard. It's deceivingly yeah. not uphill. What a great turnover from Holland. That had some really great power and height. Um, she might even be in the circle. There was only four people that got to circle one in regulation. So that is a feat of strength and skill. Jen's second shot. Probably 120 feet or so. Well done. A little jump putt from Kristen up to the green. <laughs> it's funny to watch everyone kind of tiptoe through the mud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so boggy. I see with more of a classic jump putt instead of her stepper. Can't make them all. Can't make them all. <laughs> She's the worst. Oh, man. <laughs> She's been hanging out with Zach Mountain. Way too much. Holland. Um, yeah, showing some frustration there. She's all over the basket. I mean, she got that sweet eagle, but otherwise just like isn't quite converting. She's right there, though. Uh, only two birdies on the day. Deanne Carey and Heidi Lane getting the twos. Nice, Jen. Holland coming back for her par, little 14-footer. Can't make them all. <laughs> and our lead card just settling for pars on hole eight. Everyone's going to remain the same as we finish out this Front nine of the final round of Music City Open. Yeah, three-way tie for second. Four strokes back of Kristen Tataro, who has a flawless three-down round. This is a fun hole to finish the front nine on, 327 feet downhill. There's an OB fence line on the right side of all of those trees um, that wraps very tight behind the basket, maybe 20 feet or so. You see a lot of straight backhand, maybe mid-range, maybe a fairway driver, but that can definitely skip long. Um, and then there is a big sidearm play that has its own risks, but I think that right side tunnel scares me enough to take the sidearm. And oh yeah, we saw this yesterday. Kristen taking the backhand gap with the sidearm. Isn't that crazy? There's n She's probably the only person in the field that yeah, does that. She like parked it yesterday too. And that was a solid shot. She lands a little short and right, but not bad at all. Macy taken to the sky, not worried about the tree or the out of bounds deep. Oh, that was a royal trust. God, and beautiful. she trusted that all right. That is such a risky shot, putting that much height. Let's see it, folks. Follow flight. Wow. Wow. It has eyes, and it also stops on the green. That's exactly what you need. Beautiful. This basket's probably 20 feet from out of bounds. Yeah. Long. Yep. Jen throwing uh, a Jennifer Allen T-Bird, um, kind of off speed, you know, slowed down a little and just threw smooth. It yeah. was really nice shot. Nice and low. Holland looking for something to flip a little bit more than that, but doesn't give it enough. And that tree can be brutal it's to recover from. It's a tough spot exactly right there. It's a pretty small window. Holland chooses to stretch out and throw a little uh, Anheuser forehand to circle's edge she keeps leaving herself those circles edge putts which yeah, that, that stress really I, builds over time that's what if i was you about to say that. it really affects your mental game having to continue making that and especially this is a death putt mm -hmm. and holland has a pretty powerful spin putt too if she misses jen for birdie right around circle's edge oh uh oh stop short of the ob Kind of the first putt we've seen from Jen that lacked a little bit of commitment. All in a couple inches low. She's going to have to settle for another par. 
Kristen getting tangled up in the bushes and having to do the par thing as well. Jen coming back for her par. And Macy for birdie. Yeah, way to finish out the back nine with yeah. some green. She has all but eliminated those doubles. She exactly eliminated those doubles. <laughs> all right. Kristen Tatar, three strokes ahead of Macy Valadez, who is even. Jennifer Allen, one over. And look at Colin Rebecca Hanley Cox. dropping down. I know. Rebecca was shredding out there. Climbing. Four down through 14. Yeah. Evelina, two down as well. Must be mixing in some bogeys because she's getting a ton of birdies mm -hmm. out there. Missy Gannon and Heidi Lane also under par. Um, and it looks like to be in the top 10, you got to be around six over par for the weekend. Turns out this was one of those weekends where you just need to get a lot of pars. Yeah. That could make you win the tournament. And those conditions are kind of how that happens. Um, we still got nine more holes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still more sun, not a lot of wind, basically exactly what you want. So uh, come hang out with us on the back nine. Watch Kristen make more birdies. Hopefully. Watch hopefully everyone make more birdies. Yep. I'm Madison Walker. I'm Erica Stinchcomb. We're the two hot geese. Honk. <laughs>